So thank you for your, uh, for your prayers. I mentioned at the Masses at Christmas that um, it was my plan to go home to see my family on Christmas night. So to get there in time for Christmas dessert. That's why I asked for prayers, that so I get there in time. And I did. And um, I, uh, I came through the door, and um, they were sort of surprised to see me. I mean, I didn't tell anybody, ex- ex- except for you guys. But, <laughs> but apparently, I like texted them too much before I came home. That, was, that, that gave me away. They, were, they became suspicious, and so they thought, well, maybe I could be coming home. So they said, hey, great to have you, Matt. Um, we're going to see Star Wars tomorrow, and we got you a ticket. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so it's sort of a surprise. But anyway, so... It was, it was great to see them, see my nephew. Some have been asking about, they haven't seen, I've only shown two pictures of my nephew. Maybe next week we'll show a picture of my nephew. So I've, I have good news and bad news on my, on my vacation. Um, the bad news is because I was on vacation, I got back you know, yesterday afternoon, I, I didn't have time to work on my homily since I was on vacation, you know. But the good news is I'm still going to give one. All right. <laughs> Or maybe that's the bad news. I'm not sure. So we'll see. But I at least want to say some things about these readings. And I want to f- focus specifically on the last sentence on the gospel. Because a lot of times it's just the last sentence and we don't focus on that. And we focus on the gifts, you know, that the Magi gave, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. All good things to focus on. Gold, focus on, on um, as king, frankincense, incense to God. So he's God. Myrrh, his mortality, that was used, traditionally, we believe, is used by Mary to prepare his body when he died. But I want to focus on the last sentence. Having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. They came a certain way to see Jesus, but they went back another way because God spoke to them in their dreams, and they believed that God was speaking to them in their dreams. Um, and so they found that, and they went home another way. Whenever we encounter Jesus, we should always be changed. We should always be changed. We should be a different person. When we come to Mass, we should encounter Jesus in a special way, somehow in the prayers, in the song, in, the, in just being in church, being near the Lord's presence, receiving Him in the Eucharist, being close to Him. There should be the sign of peace, um, there should be something in which we experience Christ's presence among us, his love for us, and we should go home by a different way. We should go home changed. Um, but does that happen? Does that happen? Or, or do we not put our hearts into, our, into the Mass, into our prayers? You know, it's good that we go to Mass you know, every Sunday, every Saturday night. And, um, but we need to keep on praying during the week. You know, just like we need to keep on eating and sleeping, we need to keep on praying every day. We need that. that our, our souls need that. Our hearts need that. Our bodies need that to be who, truly happy, you know. Not that there won't be crosses and, and sufferings, but even through that, the Lord will give us strength. A lot of the world, we focus on New Year's resolutions at this time, which is good. We should focus on some resolutions to, uh, to try to change our life. Um, you know, we focus on, a lot of times, food. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I went to town on chocolate-covered pretzels this past week. That was, they were good. But, so, so now I'm hurting because of it. But what are our patterns? Like, at night, do we just plop in front of a TV and then just eat stuff that's not good for us? Well, that's not going to be good for our bodies, good for our health. What about exercise? Do we do any exercise? What about um, our sleep? Do we get enough sleep? What about our, how much time do we spend on our electronic devices? You know, the portable ones and and the internet and the the TV. It's good to take a look at all these things and to see, okay, what's out of balance right now? What do we need to at least reduce or to, uh, to give up, to be a better person, to be healthy, we also, have to took a, we also have to take a look at our spiritual life, 
our spiritual life. So what are we doing for prayer every day? Because we need to pray every day. Do we just leave prayer to the end of night, to just before we go to bed? And we, we try to say some prayers, but then we're all tired from the day, from work, everything else, or from, you know, zoning out in front of TV or electronic devices, and then we're, we're not into it, in, in, you know, the prayer. And we say, okay, Lord, I love you. I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll, I, I promise. I'll spend more time tomorrow. I'll read some scripture. I'll do whatever. But then we get in the same habit, and we don't really pray to God with our whole hearts. Like, you know, we're giving him scraps, you know, from the table, the crumbs from the table. If I have something left, I'll give that to you, Lord. And that's about it. What did the Magi, what did they give to, to this infant? They gave the best that they had. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. They didn't give them the scraps. They traveled all that way, and it took a lot for them to travel. For months, we believe. In the desert. And they gave them the best that they had. What do we give the Lord? What do we give the Lord? But then when we encounter him, what's changed about our life? So that's what I want us to think about, especially this new year and, and, and the rest of this Mass. You know, enter into the prayers and the song. But try to think about, okay, Lord, what way do you want me to take back home? I mean, if you want, you can actually drive a different way back home, you know, <laughs> you know, just on a practical level, just to remind yourself, okay, I'm trying to do things a little bit differently. But what is the Lord calling us to do, to do differently? Because we're going to go back home, and we all have our homes, thanks be to God, and you should pray for those who don't have homes in the area. But that's just our temporary home. That's just our temporary home. Our true home is heaven. Our true home is heaven. So what are we doing to get there? Lord, give us the courage to not just give you the scraps, but to really make a, a change in our life. But we need your help. We need your wisdom to know what to do. Help us. Give us the courage to do it so that we may go home another way.